Okay, everyone, welcome to the first viewer lobby of the day. We are doing pandas only. It's been a while, but uh, yeah, as I've been saying, when you end your turn, please only have pandas on your team. Any food is allowed, including stuff like honey, popcorn, and mushroom. Uh, you can buy pill, sell pill, whatever else you want during your turns, and sloth is allowed, so I wish everyone luck. I guess I'll do my normal thing of like, I don't know, do I even want to free thing? Because the stats on the panda isn't going to matter. So maybe I just freeze honey and then roll for like marmosets, or maybe a combination, but I'd rather a marmoset combination. <laughs> uh, don't need ducks. Don't need possums. Let's just keep looking. Okay. Liking it so far. Mushrooms. I may have one of those later. Let's be the attractive mushrooms. <laughs> he bought solid mouse, goddammit. I mean... It still makes them look cooler. Like, I guarantee I'm going to be putting stats on my pandas at some point. Because this is an RNG lobby. Like, it's going to happen. Ah, uh, again, another one. Alright. Oh, well. I got two free rolls. Could be worse. Did anyone get a turn one panda? That's what I want to know. No, but we do have a cheater. Please sell everything. Not pandas. It is pandas only. Feel like Chichilla is the way to go for extra monies. Uh, it's definitely one of the better combinations here. But like, with the Marmoset, you get free rolls, and that's effectively like, you know, not not early, but it's effectively three chances to find extra things you need. Not great at explaining, but like, it's definitely <laughs> the math checks out. So that's that's usually my strategy: buy, sell a mouse, get a free apple, and then roll for Marmosets. And I basically just like transfer some money across turns. Cool cheater. I'm hoping that it's accidental. Okay. So yeah, now they're just in the wild, so hopefully I'll find one of these pandas. Panda, thank you. Uh, stoked into panda? No. <laughs> okay. Continue rolling. I'm not sure if I rolled a honey there, actually. I may have. Definitely didn't mean to. Did anyone find a turn two panda? No, and the cheating got corrected, so. Yeah, I think it was an accident then. Pandas only, how long has this been going on for? <laughs> We're in turn three. It's been going on for like two minutes. We're just in. You don't have enough for honey too. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad, because like, you could have a whole team of pandas, but if you don't have any honey, then they can't win against anything. Can you pill or just panda? I'm not sure what you mean by pill. When you end your turn, it is all pandas though. Your panda is small, is that normal? Did you get it from a stoat? Come on. Yes! More pandas. I don't have... Why did I freeze a pill? Alright. <laughs> they don't have anything on them, so they're not actually... Uh... This isn't any better than just this. But they're here. I have bases. I have slots to put food on. You know, now that I think about it, this is probably the closest you can get to a, a food-only lobby. Because that's basically what this is. Like, <laughs> stats don't matter. Everything that goes into the fight is, like, dead before they can do anything. Two panda, two honey, one panda frozen, two honey frozen. Damn. I'm kind of sad. I didn't get to find a panda from a, a stoat. I would have loved to have had a 1-1 one, one panda on my team. <laughs> I would have tried to keep it like that. Black Pearl, hello. Mediocre. Friends. Hi, hi. Alright. So, I can do this. I could pill a, sto a stork. And, like, that's a maybe. Is it worth it, though? It's, like, twice as expensive as a stoat just to check for a panda. It's probably better to just roll, but at the same time, if it works, it would be hilarious, so let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Another panda I'm in. Stoat again. Is there anything that could do anything for me? No. Yeah, so we leave it. We just need to find more, uh, more honey. That is it. All I'm looking for. So doesn't this have the possibility of an infinite endgame? Sort of, but it's not that likely to happen because, again, if everyone's running popcorn pandas, then you summon random tier twos, and there's a lot of tier twos with different abilities, like, you know, rats, uh, 
Rat, hedgehog, spider, you know, there are things that can break it up. Stalk as well. I didn't check what tier fives I had though. I should have changed those up a bit. How many people still play the game? I have no idea. You have to check like Steam stats or something for that. You know, Stoked Obsessed and still doesn't have sticker. I mean, <laughs> can you blame me? I like it in these lobbies. I don't like it like as a level three that I keep on my team forever. Can I find some honey, please? Maybe I should have kept that frozen, because, like... There we go. Because, <laughs> like, buying all these pandas without any honey is not doing me any favors. Thoughts on the new art? I like it. In general, I like it. What happens if you have a mushroom on a panda? Basically what you'd expect to happen. It just, like, goes into the fight, immediately dies, then becomes a 1-1. And then the 1-1 can fight. But it is just a 1-1 panda, so it's, like, the same as a bee. And Kaj, thank you for the two months. Thank you, thank you. Give an apple to the one up front so the others buff the pee. Yeah, sadly, it doesn't work like that. Or at least, unless it's, you know, been changed. It's been a while since we did this lobby, but... The last time we did it, we definitely never managed to buff any of the bees with um, the panda triggers. Yeah, I'm very glad I got that other honey, otherwise we would have lost that. Right, another honey. Keep it going. And I also need to... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I need to, like, look out for a sloth here more. I'm leveling these. Try and stop me. <laughs> Alright. Panda loot box with the popcorn? Yeah. Seriously, this is basically just an RNG lobby. Like, there's next to no strategy in here other than roll for pandas, give them all um, honey, and then, you know, once that's done, you just roll for popcorn. That's, like, the only stuff that matters. Barring finding a sloth. If anyone finds a sloth, then it's just, like, GG. So, uh, I'm hoping if that happens, it won't be too early. Also, someone had, like, a single bee on their team. And Wolf, welcome. Is Melon good? No, it doesn't, um... Melon doesn't prevent insta-kill effects, so it doesn't protect you from, like, Panda or... What? Mantis? Finks? Or Pill? Found a total of one panda before it was over. Oh no. I am very sorry. Sloth must be at the back with no stats. Nah, we just said pandas. Sorry, sloth is just the in, so. That's basically what we're going for. Oh, dude, just. Avocado me up. I'm fine. I'm starting next turn with 19 gold. <laughs> There's not really a good reason for it, but maybe I can just like keep pushing my gold like forward forever. That'd be kinda nice. Most strategy in Panda only is in turn one and two. Like, it, it's, it's, the strategy is basically what I said. It's just like, find pandas, give them honey, and then as soon as popcorn's available, give them popcorn. And then that is it. It's literally like a three-step thing, so... Yeah, extremely RNG-dependent. And look at this. Look at these flawless teams. And look, they even had one of these. I never got to get to the 1-1 panda. I could maybe make one later by, like, mushroom-pilling a panda. But I will not do that. Don't freeze panda and look for sloth, no. You know what? That's probably worth more than, like, meme leveling my pandas. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll leave them how they are. No bananas. I took it out. If I put bananas in the pack, then it'd be, like, better than everything else 99% of the time. So, not literally 99% of the time, but you, you get what I'm saying. Okay, we roll for sloth. I will resist the level ups. I will not resist the avocado though. I'm enjoying that too much. <laughs> sloth. Please. It's been so long. Bring me a sloth. Full team acquired, 2 HP. It's it's fine. You'll make it. Pandas suck at existing IRL. Uh yeah, I've definitely seen. Sloth only flavored lobby flavored? What happens if you find a sloth though? Do you just freeze it and keep it along for the ride? Oh no, you're allowed to tell on the team. So like in this, like, in general, I say if you find a sloth, you're just allowed it. So uh, in this lobby, it is a massive... Oh my god, there's so many avocados. It is a massive perk. So if someone finds a sloth, it's probably just GG. 
I don't need my avocado. Like, now I'm going to be at tier 6, and then I can just, like, roll for popcorn, so... Happy with where I'm at at the moment. Just need to roll. So, honey pandas are just the best. No, popcorn pandas are the best. Because popcorn panda can turn into anything at tier 2, which may even turn into a stork, which can turn into tier 5s, which can turn into eagle, which can turn into tier 6. So, uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Popcorn. <laughs> Lots of RNG involved. Is it only the right slot that has a chance of spawning sloth? Or does it have to be all the slots open that currently matter? I'm not sure I'm completely following, but I think that any slot can turn into a slot. I don't know. Now that you mention it, I don't know if I've... I don't know where I've seen sloths before. Okay, popcorn. We have one. I'm going to throw it on the middle. That's not what I want. <laughs> I almost want to buy more avocados, but it's just, it's pointless. It's like delaying something that I should be actively looking for right now. All right, another one of these. I probably should be throwing these to the front, actually, because otherwise I'm just like wasting my front bees. Maybe I leave one at the front just in case I um, summon something that can summon other things. I don't know if that's actually possible, and I'll check in a minute, but I need to know. Okay, never mind. I'll just do this. That was a... Very solid turn. Got three popcorn. I did start with like 20 gold or something, but... 19 gold, zero popcorn. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I feel like that's almost like average luck, but it must really hurt to see. Right, let's see what my tier twos are like. Oh, no. I summoned another panda. Oh. Trumpet victory. We did it. We did it. It's fine. Another popcorn. <laughs> now all I need is a sloth. Or one more popcorn. Whichever comes first. But then after that, it better be a, a sloth. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Big scam fog. I was completely ready for a draw there, considering there was like two hedgehogs on the team. But uh, yeah, getting a stalk was pretty nice. Not a stalk, a stilt. They're very similar, kind of. They both start with S and R birds. Still no popcorn. Oh no. Draft versus hedgehog. <laughs> Amazing. Oh yeah, popcorn is same tier, so no eeky. Uh, you well, you actually can get it because you can get a stalk from popcorn. So you can yeah, see like this could summon. An eagle, which could then summon a tier 6, which could be an orca, which could then be, like, half the things in the game. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's a lot of um, potential RNG here. I'm afraid I'm going to, like, find a slot, and I'm going to be, like, actively looking at the food instead of these, and then miss it. Okay, there's more popcorn, at least. Okay, so next turn, I'll be, like, optimal. Optimal chance based combat, and then I can just doom roll for slots for the rest of the game until I'm dead. Why <laughs> stalk in here? For the extra RNG, you need it. It's more interesting. I just want to see someone go like stalk into eagle into, yeah, orc into some other random thing. <laughs> Is rat in there? Because I wanted to throw in like the most random things that actually had combat abilities. And honestly, Rat could be good sometimes. It's like massive pandas. Hmm. My team is not great against this. <laughs> okay, I have lost HP. Let's take this. And yeah, we're doom rolling for sloths now. I don't need any more popcorn. Okay. <laughs> You don't want to play anymore? How much HP do you have? I don't know if you're like down here or already dead or something. I assume you're not. I also don't know what your name is. Okay. Oh, you already died. Okay. Has Sloth Icon been changed? It has. It has, and I've seen it a couple of times. I haven't found it myself, but I've like been against teams that have had it, and you know, we've had a lot of them in these lobbies recently. I liked your massive panda. It was the best, yes. I didn't like how, you know, 
It ended up killing me. My squad, Kinu. Ah, uh, this... No, oh, wait, I have a thing. Never mind. <laughs> yes, trumpet victory again. That's all I need. I'm not leveling these. I need a sloth. It's been too long. Show me. Okay. One day. One day I will get another sloth. It'd be nice if you had a 1 in 1,000 chance of encountering a reverse panda or something. What is a reverse panda? I do want other, like, meme additions to the game, though. The one I keep saying is, like, some sort of, like, food equivalent of sloth. It's like, you know, add it to something to make it, like, a shiny variant. I want that. <laughs> Just give me, like, sparkly food. You won because of a trumpet dog? So did I! That was literally my last fight. It's the best. A reverse panda would be kill the pet in front of it and gain its stats. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, they got an eagle. Oh, this. <laughs> Ouch. Okay. Please. Please. I need a sloth. It's the only way. I saw that snail. Okay. <laughs> You just one with rams? You don't mean that they actually had a sheep, do you? Nah, this is all this is all pandas. New owl is cute. It is pretty cute, yeah. I like this. I I, I love the ones they like aren't in this pack, but yeah, I do really like cow as well. I think that's nice. The monkey's kind of cool. Uh, ducks kind of nice. So is pig. They just look happy. Of course, Japan already has a black and white swapped panda mascot. They have, like, mascots of everything. There are some weird Japanese mascots out there. Oh, I can't deal with this. Ah. Help. Okay. To be fair, you were on 1 HP and I was on 3. So I'll take the elder. Fair, fair. Come on. How many times must I roll <laughs> to find my sloth lad? I want someone to find one before the end of the game. Like, this is, again, like, one of the ideal lobbies for, um, everyone to just be rolling all of the time. So, the odds of finding one are higher than normal. And is avocado worth it? I mean, not really anymore. It was worth it earlier, but now, like, you know, the shop's going to be the same forever, so like, there isn't really much of a reason to save gold when... There's no reason to buy anything anymore. You still have four popcorn li literally rigged. Wait, I I know I scrolled through the teams a minute ago. I saw one team that didn't have five pandas. I didn't see anything that didn't have full popcorn, but I probably just missed it. Oh, triple sea urchin. It doesn't really do anything. No, I have summons. Okay. Chocolate cake hamster only. Then sloth. No chocolate cake. That is actually... Okay, if we ever do sloth only, I think that is how we do it. I think that is how you make it a not completely horrible experience. Like, <laughs> sloth or chocolate cake hamster only. That is an idea, thank you. Your opponent spawned three rats and you still lost. Uh, I'm on like a losing streak now. I had such a good start too, and then the... Sap gods left me. I feel like bananas would win on average over popcorn. They would. Yeah, that's why I didn't include it in the pack. Because, like, I, I feel like everyone would just run all... All bananas. Which, you know, you could lose to all popcorn or, you know, bananas and popcorn mix, but... Yeah. No, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, you got me. Uh, let's see. How many people are alive? A handful. Okay, well, GG's, GG's. I wish everyone luck. Uh, they're, going, they're going to need it. That is all you have in this game. And let me know if anyone finds a salt, because I want to know. I summoned more pandas. Yeah, summoning pandas is not the play. They do have okay stats, to be fair, but... Yeah, you need things that give you either, like, trumpets or summons. I think that's definitely 
better most of the time. Kind of means current tier. It does, yes. So the rules are everything on your team must be from the current shop tier. So when the shop upgrades... Okay, so I'll say it again. Everyone, welcome. Uh, we're doing current tier only. I'm going to have to change my hat and background and stuff, but... Uh, yes, yeah, so everything on your team must be from the current shop tier. So when you're at tier 1, when this only has one pip, everything on your team must be tier 1. When the shop upgrades at turn 3, uh, sell, pill, whatever, remove everything, and then you can only have tier 2s and so on until, you know, turn 11 where everything has to be tier 6s from then on. All food is allowed from any tier. Uh, buy, sell, pill, whatever during your turns, and sloth is allowed all the way through. So I think this is a okay start. Also, we're on the golden pack, so <laughs> something to keep track of. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's be the fizzy balls. And I feel like my hat and stuff didn't change. Alright, this is the thing. It, I feel like it's just not updating sometimes. Oops. Okay. Those are fun tier sixes. Uh, <laughs> I'm wondering what the play would be. Because the issue is, like, half of the ones with good abilities you know, like combat abilities, you wouldn't be able to scale. Oh, no. Oh, they have Pender in the name. Did we get rid of Kinobles for hat changes? We did. Long time ago. Alright, let's just get these on the team. Maybe one of these, too. Okay, so I get to save one gold. I can sell this for an egg, and then I get to <laughs> pass on a bit of value that way. So yeah, let's try that. This better kill something. If it doesn't, then it's such a waste of an egg. You've never played this pack? Well, <laughs> good luck. Do any pets that can damage your own team? Woodpecker, leech, hedgehog, elephant, and yak. Uh, wait, does it have to be the permanent damage? Or does like in combat work as well? Because then I guess you could throw in like... Panda, kind of. Maybe Mantis. Uh... Swordfish. There's a few things. Badger, yeah. Like, there are options. I think it is. Alright. Didn't lose any HP this time. Sadly, you have lost permanent HP. I'm very sorry. Alright. But yes, the shop is upgraded. Now we're at tier 2. Everything on your team must be tier 2. So, replace everything. I'm gonna save that for a minute. See if I can get them. Stuff. I'm also going to do this, because then I can sell this for the egg earlier. Because, you know, I need to sell this anyway, so I might as well um, just lock in on that. Debating whether I buy these first or if I roll for other things, because, like, these are not good solo. This is also not great, but at least I can put that on it or something. Should have sold that first. Hold on. Okay. Uh, let's sell this first. Get egg. I'm going to throw egg on you. I'm going to sell... Well, I guess both of these, and then I'll freeze the rest. Can't get to everything that I wanted, but that's fine. Don't think there's a good reason to go for that. I don't know why I'm freezing like four things when I can't even buy that many, but <laughs> let's see. Oh, is the panda lobby over? Astronaut, congratulations. Good job, good job. I'm assuming no one ended up getting a sloth by the end though. I like this sword that makes. Sword that makes. Sound that makes. Hmm. Okay. Well, avocado isn't out yet, so I don't really see a reason to uh, roll for other food. And I'm probably not going for a combination or anything. So let's just like take another one of these. Hope I don't lose and send it. Alright. Beetle seems like a good pet in this mode. Beetle? This? I mean, it's okay. I think there's a, there's a handful of things that are decent for pivoting. Like, you know, the chipmunk was kind of okay. Magpies are kind of okay. Stoat is pretty great. Uh, not as sure about stuff from this tier. Like, maybe sort of pass on some money with Weasel. Same with tier 4. Not really sure what you could use, like, across turns. Yeah, same with tier 5. There's some decent early ones. But avocado, you can always push money forward. But just... Kind of the same as always. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I have lost HP. Okay, so flee. I'm probably taking that just because it's here, but again, we are now tier 3. I hope everyone pivots. Kind of like having a flycatcher. 
There's another one. I'll just get rid of these, like, <laughs> one by one. Stoat is also a thing. Sadly, I can't get that and the flea, but maybe it's better than the flea. What sort of abilities are there? I don't have any trumpet generation, so, you know, something like the, um, Surgeon Fish is pretty bad. I think I'm going to start with this, but I'll freeze that. Alright, let's do something like this then. So, assuming that doesn't die to any snipes or anything, I think it's probably pretty safe back then. And uh, let's have a little skim through to make sure everyone was, like, following the rules last turn. <laughs> Try to, at least. Oh god, wait, large teams. Large teams that generate stuff. <gasps> Six damage snipe. Safe. Safe. Another flea. I could combine. And I might do that. The issue is if I combine, then I can't really do anything else this turn. Because like, if I combine, I can see a tier 4 and I can freeze that to buy next turn. So it's like a guaranteed thing to buy. But if I end up losing, then it is very, very bad for me. Yeah, I'd rather just roll naturally, I think. I need to try and not lose. I don't know how much people are going to be relying on order, so I don't know if um, eggplants it. What I'm going to do instead is try and roll for a uh, avocado. Didn't find it. It might be worth just doing that. Yeah, I'm going to level that, actually. Do it that way. Manatee. Not the best, but maybe worth freezing anyway. It's not on the hydrate today. I need to... I really do need to hydrate more, though. I go through waves of, like, you know, remembering to drink all the time, and then I'll, like, move it slightly out of my way, and then I'll never touch it again. And won't drink, like, most of the day. Anyway, there's nothing I can do with these things, so... Won't just be keeping them around or anything. Antelope, that also has to go. Another antelope, sure. And I could buy an eggplant or something, but I don't really want to. I'm just going to keep rolling, I think. Another one of these is fine. Lettuce is a maybe. Secretary bird. I don't really have summons though. Like a falcon's a maybe. But there's definitely no guarantee. Uh I think I leave it. I think next turn I buy Falcon, I buy Lettuce, and then I just roll once and hope to find like an avocado. Manatee banana, because monkey counts as a tier five. You know what? That actually would be okay because it would die on Like you when you hit end turn, the manatee would still be on your team. But you're right, that actually would be okay. Because <laughs> then it would die before it gets to combat. Oh, I'm losing HP again. You're not doing too well, neither am I. Yeah, I'm leaving the lettuce. Lettuce is not it. And yeah, these are these are good. Okay. <laughs> Alright, solid. So this is also just good for those things. I am running a falcon at the front. But I don't think there's really a better order for my team at the moment, so... Plus, like, last game it didn't do anything anyway, so I think that's fine. How many turns did the panda lobby go? I'm also interested. When Manatee dies, it's going to be turn 9. Yeah, but, like, again, it will be a tier 5 in combat. Like, I'm saying it does work. You won't get the monkey? You, you will get the monkey, though. It'll, it'll, like, perfectly die in time for tier 5. Because, like, it will still be on your team by the... By, by, when you press this, but monkey will be the thing that goes into combat, so it, it does work. This is interesting. <laughs> oh my god, the trumpets. The trumpets. Okay, Nyala, very nice. There is also a crane, which is usable. But uh, yeah, falcons and antelopes must go. See what this turns into as well. It's a tiny, tiny fire ant. All right. Uh, another Nyala. I should have taken the the chocolate actually. Not this chocolate. The other chocolate thing. Although I could do this anyway, because then I might have like even bigger thing. This thing. This dies one more time. I don't really care where the stats go. I think I will do this and end it. I don't want to macaque. I'll freeze these maybe, but I don't know. But yeah, the idea here is that Manatee will be dead by the end of this turn. And then it summons a tier 5 monkey. So it, it still fits. Okay, 
Okay, cool. <laughs> no worries. Why no pill? Because there's no pill in the pack. It's the golden pack. It's just how the game was made. Anyway, I'm doing this. Oyster. <laughs> I mean, I can freeze it, but it's not exactly my first choice. I think I'm going to leave that, though. And there's no point trying another one of these. Like, it's going to be gone at the end of this turn anyway, and I don't want to buy this. I want to find, like, an avocado. Stop. <laughs> Can't use these. Okay, that's nice. Let's just throw this on here, then. That is good. Don't really care what I'm buffing with the monkey, although I guess I would rather it not be that Nyala if it's going to die. Buff the fire ant. Yeah, I mean, it's, th it's the only thing that kind of needs it right now, but... You know, it's all going to be gone after this turn anyway, so... It's all temporary stats, really. You always say it's got to be a cry pets when you click and turn. Yeah, but like the idea is, is when it's going to a fight. But that makes it way, way too confusing for most people. So we just say end turn rules. So this may kill me because it's going to have to hit that really hard. Okay, I'll take a draw. <laughs> okay, safe. Okay, so there's Catfish Oyster. Catfish has no synergy at some um, six, so that's probably not what I'm going for, but maybe I take it anyway. Also, for some reason I thought I was going to go for like all of the same thing when I started this game, but... Yeah, that's obviously not what I'm doing, so... Sell everything. Take these, just because they are here. Another Catfish, fine. Bird of Paradise is nice. Just keep rolling. Keep rolling. We continue to look for tier sixes. I think Grizzly Bear is excellent. <laughs> I don't want another another catfish. I think these three are something though. These were not the tier sixes I wanted to find. Like Bird of Paradise is nice. The other ones, the other ones are less good. Beat a cheater. Who's cheating? I saw a tier four in one of those teams back there. Well, the monkey was tier 6. No, it's tier 5. Monkey is a tier 5. Okay, so I think I'm getting rid of the catfish and I'm going to buy like Grizzly, Highland Cow, Cobra. And then I try and use the Bird of Paradise to scale those up. The other thing I could do is just Bird of Paradise scale like forever. But, you know, like try and find like loads more of these. Mm. Which would be nice, but I don't know if it actually end up happening. But anyway, yeah, you're not going anywhere, so you can go to the front with this. You're actually my tankiest thing, so I guess I could throw the code behind it, so then you can just be at the back. And Lettuce is like plus 3-3 three, three to everything on my team, so... I don't know, I could get rid of the Oyster and then buy that, then it's definitely going to hit good things, but... I don't know, instead I'm going to leave it, I'm going to look for chocolate. I think that does slightly more for me. And <laughs> Jim Bob, hello! Glad you could make it. You have Warthog double Pteranodon. Uh, yeah, I see. <laughs> I see synergy there. So, here's also a Pteranodon Warthog, which is kind of scary. Oh, no. Oh, yes! It's a draw. Did not lose HP. <laughs> Knuckleberg, hello. Second Bird of Paradise. Do I play it separately? I don't know what to do here. Like, I want to buy sell Oyster just because it's like more gold for this. If I sell that, then I can get like two triggers this turn, so I think it's worth um, keeping both for a bit. And I don't know whether to buy lettuce or not. The stats are okay. I don't want it to hit this one. But like, I'd much rather find a level up for any of this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, buy it separately to start. And then combine. And then second, Grizzly Bear. Buy like this for you, put this here. And we're basically done. I'll buy this, but not the lettuce. Because at least I can target it on, like, the Highland Cow, maybe. I feel like that's a little bit nicer. Separate until you get first. Oh, I, I have it. I'm good. Sadly, I think I'm going to lose here again, which is... I don't lose again. I'm just worried, because I have, like, 2 HP. And 2 HP is not where I want to be sitting. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna put it on here because it means I'm more likely to get more triggers out of the Cobra as opposed to like higher value snipes as well as just a bigger dog at the end. So I think this is where I should be investing stats. So let's do that. I'll buy one of these. This just might be my team now. Kind of like it. 
would love to get some like avocados or something because i can actually maybe get multiple triggers out of this a turn but i'll manage probably not going to be doing much by selling because you know the only real benefit to that is if you find a um what is it oyster or stoat which i don't know is it maybe but i don't know if it's worth having an empty slot on the team when you're like about to die be honest you miss old bear I mean, kind of, but like, I like current bear. <laughs> like, old bear was just broken. Current bear is like, still feels okay. Like, I still like current bear, so I don't, I, I wouldn't complain. Continue. Just continue, just buy stats, it's decent. Alright. And somehow this one's actually like, dodging the buffs, which is like, it's actually making me want to combine them more. Could maybe swap them around, but I was afraid, like, you know, tomato stuff. Can we do puppy pack lobby? Never been able to use that before. It depends what the idea is. I don't really do lobbies just on, like, you know. There, you know, there needs to be a theme. Use the test serve when it's up. But it's <laughs> it's not up, though, right? Oh, no, are you ask, uh, talking to him? Yeah, yeah, on the test server, I think you are, like, you do have access to all the packs. So that is some way you can try them. Working right, kind of. Yeah, nice. <laughs> puppy only in the puppy pack. I do not love that idea. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, how many people are running tomatoes? Enough that I think I probably do benefit from this, but I kind of want to put it on one of these instead. Imagine on there it could be really good, but I also don't really want to do that yet. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Eggplant could mess up order, but let's not do that. Okay. So yeah, run it like this. Oh, the pets are cute though. Yeah, doing something like cute pets only is again way too hard. It needs to be extremely obvious what is and isn't allowed. Like you need to not have to check a list unless it's like, you know, three different things. And uh yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, XRB. Looks like you're joining me at 2 HP. And boneless pets. Again, I don't know which are. Maybe there's a handful of really obvious ones, like, I don't know, these two, I guess, but. Yeah, would that be like all bugs? All bugs and then large, squishy things? Avocado. This is kind of annoying. I'm going to be like one notch away from getting a second trigger off that. And there's not a lot I can do. Alright, keep pushing this. I don't know what to put on the Cobra. Yeah, one notch away. That is sad. Okay, let's just do this then. That's that you can't buy in shop. Yeah, we have that. We have a non-shop pack thing. Farm animals only. Again, I, I don't know what a farm animal is. I can do like really easy stuff like, you know, cow, goat. <laughs> Cheap. But then there's loads of other stuff, it's like, oh yeah, well there's like, owls, and I don't know. So, yeah, it's, it's good to leave. And dog or cat only, so the pets spell dog or cat. So it's like three slots, but it has to spell those things. That's not bad. I think I'm going to combine. I want to get some, like, stoke value. So let's do this. <laughs> it's another bird of paradise. I think I combine instead of rolling. I don't know whether I lose more stats if it hits that or not. But like, I don't really... Oh, maybe not. I can roll. I just don't want to end with it on my team. Leave Avocado. This is fine. I just don't know if it's better than the extra summon. Probably is. Yeah, it's like, that's not really what I wanted. No, I didn't get to finish. I didn't get to finish. It just like delayed me. Okay. Prediction? I won't start a prediction at like the end of a game. Like, <laughs> what, what sort of prediction would I do at this stage? I can maybe do one for the start of the next if someone reminds me. But no guarantees I'll remember myself, and this wildebeest is painful. Yeah, I've lost. You're down for a prediction right now. I won't be doing it. We don't end a thing with a prediction. 
Okay, so definitely want that. Another bird of paradise. Uh, I mean, we want this as well. This is great. And then, what, do I just buy this and end on that? And then I can maybe give it an eggplant just to try and protect myself from dying this turn. Okay. So I'd shuffle one thing forward. It kind of helps with the bears. But... I don't know, maybe I like put it in the third slot. That seems like it might be slightly better. <clears throat> okay, so I at least stopped the Cobra from like getting multiple triggers off um, Coconut Guy, but Coconut Guy is still a problem. <laughs> Alright, we lived! Let's go. Rip Cobra triggers, you're right. Is this fine? This is probably fine. And hey, we got to level it. Nice, so we're actually going to be doing high damage snipes now. Still don't know what to do with you. I, maybe I should have combined. I definitely will next turn, I think, but... Okay, it's nice to have these. Is this still fine? Probably? I don't know. Making noise statistics feel like a... Feels like a buff, honestly. Makes it more common late game. It, it doesn't, though. Making it tier 6 means it's less common. Second position, best egg plants. Great to hear it. Also, like, immediately jumped to the back. That was actually pretty good. I like it. Hey, it was a clone, so it didn't really matter. And, hey, look, we're at top three. Okay, so I'm just going to stack these together. I won't get to see the other thing, but... I guess I could, like, start with one of these. I don't really need another cobra, but I can maybe end with another bear. So, let's combine bear. We'll talk. Not particularly interested. Uh, Roll wants to get the trigger, maybe, and then just, I don't know, end on Grizzly. Could be worse. I want better equipment than this, though. Uh, sure. <laughs> sure, it is something, and there we go. And it dodged the bear, cool. I don't know the best place to put this, though. Like, I'm not, I'm not seeing a, a good option for it, so I'll just let it sit at the back and, you know, do some snipes with the others. This might be my final turn, though. God, the, <laughs> the wildebeest. I'm safe. They live. They live. It's me and XRB. <laughs> Probably the final turn here. This is already summoning 50-50s. I do not need to worry about doing anything with that. I could take a wildebeest, but like... It, it would be so small. Like, <laughs> super tiny. I think I'd rather just, like, stick with my bear. Honestly. They don't have much in the way of snipes. I don't think it's worth, like, buying a potato. I'll just, like, trust it won't snipe this. Buying a pretzel. Uh, sure. I'm keeping the bear. Bear stays. Let's try and make him a little bit more survivable. I will, however, move him. No, I won't. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see. Only 1-1. One, one. I wouldn't mind doing something like that. It's been a little while, and they insta-killed my tiny bear. <clears throat> I am dead. Okay, you got me. <laughs> Fair enough. Even if that, um, you know, my dog had survived that hit, it would have died to the cobra afterwards, so. Fair enough. GG's, GG's.